Okay, well, the first thing in the book is a couple of chords, so let's go through those. Um, there's your first finger. This is the chord of C, okay? And you can learn it as well if you want. So in the book it clearly, sh clearly shows you that. So let's start, and uh, I know it's cutting off my head, but I want to get the guitar on I think. So, the first string is your index finger up here. Then we miss that string, which is the G string, we missed that one. This finger goes on here, second fret, and then your third finger goes on the second string, third fret. C. Okay, we don't really want to play that one. And we don't really want to play this one. Because that's an E. useful if you do that pick strings down we're picking down and we're picking them individually so that they ring out now it's a good idea when you're learning this chord is to if I turn the guitar over you can see that my thumb is in the middle of the neck okay and that's where you want to keep it really for all your guitar playing unless we do something out of the ordinary you want to keep your thumb in the middle of the neck and your hand you really want to bend it like this to play so we're not playing with a straight hand we're playing with a hand like this and also it's good if you're sitting on a chair rather than the sofa, so I'm being a bit naughty here. But anyway, thumb on the back, miss a string. Okay, now if you want to make that chord sound a little bit more uh, powerful, you can see my two fingers here, I don't know whether you can see that, but there on this thing, string is on here on the E string and there all the rest of the fingers are the same now you can play this one the top the bottom thicker string as opposed to this and that's how I normally play a C because it gives it a little bit more bass you know, gives it a little bit more bass. Still don't play this one. Okay. So that's the chord of C. Let's try a complex one, which is F. So this finger here covers two strings. And this will be very hard to do at the start, mainly because your finger here isn't, um, hasn't got a callus on it, so it's a bit soft. And when it's soft, you tend to get that noise, which is um, not really what we want. But so that's that one. This finger goes on the second fret. at the diagram of an F chord. Do you know what an F chord is, doggy? Yeah? Okay. So that's F. And it's fairly easy to change between a C and an F. Practice that. Now 
we'll do another chord. These will all be difficult to start with, but let's try it, a G. So the first finger here goes on the second fret on the A string, which is the second string. It's the A string. Good job if you learn the n names of these strings because they'll come in bloody handy later on, okay? So that's the A string. Now this finger here goes on the thickest string on the third fret. And then this finger here, your ring finger, goes on the thinnest string on the third fret. Okay. Now, if you can afford the patience to do it, with all down strokes, let's see if we can do a bit of a tune, starting with C. F C G C F So that's a simple tune using C, F and G and uh, that'll take a lot of practice. But what you've got to do is you've got to um, play as slow as your chord changes. So that means your chord changes will get faster, but we really want to keep a kind of a rhythm going rather than this. We don't really want this. We don't really want that. We want to go as slow as the chord changes. So I'll slow it down a bit more. Thank you. 